Okay, in this video, we're going to show that uh, this set S, which is the set of triples x, y, z, such that ax plus by plus zz is equal to d, uh, is a convex set. Um, and so you might notice that this is the equation of a plane in three dimensions. So what we're trying to show is that if I take kind of a plane in three dimensions, and uh, what does it mean to be convex? So what we're trying to show is that if I take any two points in this plane, and I look at the line uh, segment between them, that this line segment also lies in the plane. And so geometrically, um, this is pretty obvious that this should be true, um, but we should show this rigorously using the definition of what a convex set is. So to do that, let's um, take two arbitrary points in the plane. So let's let uh, x1, y1, and z1, and x2, y2, z2, be in my set S, and alpha be a number between 0 and 1, and let's let these be arbitrary. And what do we want to show is we want to show that the convex combination of these two points is also in my set S, and since these two points and this alpha uh, are arbitrary, this will show that um, the set is convex. So we want to show that uh, alpha x1 plus 1 minus alpha x2, alpha y1 plus 1 minus alpha y2, alpha z1 plus 1 minus alpha z2 is also in the set S. So we need to show that this triple satisfies this equation. Okay, so to do that, let's use the fact that these two points are in my set S. So what I mean is that uh, x1, y1, z1 is in S. So what does this mean, the definition of S? It means that a times x1 plus b times uh, y1 plus c times z1 is equal to d. And x2, y2, z2 is also an s. So what does this mean? This means that a times x2 plus b times y2 plus c times z2 is equal to d. And now um, these equations are, these are two equations that we have. Uh, so I can multiply both sides of them by any real number that I want. So in particular, I'm going to multiply this one both sides by alpha, and I'm going to multiply this one, both sides by 1 minus alpha. So then what do we get? We get alpha times a times x1 plus alpha times b times y1 plus alpha times c times z1 is equal to alpha times d. And here we get alpha, uh, 1 minus alpha times a times x2 plus 1 minus alpha times b times y2 plus 1 minus alpha times c times z2 is equal to 1 minus alpha times d. And now uh, I'm just going to add these two together. So I'm going to add this one and this one together. And let's just see what we get. We get uh, a times alpha x1 plus 1 minus alpha x2 plus b times alpha y1 plus 1 minus alpha y2 plus c times alpha z1 plus 1 minus alpha z2 is equal to alpha times d plus 1 minus alpha times d. And so this is equal to d. And so what we're saying is that a times this x-coordinate plus b times this y-coordinate plus c times this z-coordinate is equal to d, and that means that this triple is in the set. So this is satisfied. Since these two points in alpha were arbitrary, this means that s is a convex set.